I'm here with Rishi Saint Giron, the CEO of HTTV and the president of the HD Forum. Rishi, yes, uh, right. congratulations on uh, you. your ascent to the presidency. Um, can you begin maybe by telling me a little bit about how uh, standards such as HBB TV and also HTML5 can help free-to-air broadcasters get into the world of interactive TV? Oh, definitely uh, are going to change the life of broadcasters in many different ways. The first one is that it gives them access to a large market and an easy access because there is one platform that runs on, on any device, any TV set, any set-top box, and therefore it's, it's much simpler and much cheaper for them to deploy services. But it also gives them the freedom to deploy the services they want, to promote their, service, to promote their programs, to extend the program and the, and the uh, access to the user through this uh, hybrid broadcast broadband mix of uh, the broadcast and the, and the broadband, the internet, to the home of the, of the users. And on top of that, it gives the possibility to access the user much more efficiently through the broadcast by pushing the services to the end user as opposed to be, to be stored somewhere in a, on a portal of a manufacturer or a portal of an operator. So looking at the pay TV side, how much interest are pay TV operators showing in standardized ways of delivering interactive TV and moving away from proprietary middlewares? I think we are, we are watching a major shift from the pay TV operators from the legacy proprietary middleware to more open solution. Solution that they could better control, that are faster to provide new features to the market, and that at the end, there is a, there is a big trend toward a Linux HTML, HTML5 standard solution to the market. And that's exactly what we are doing at HTTV. We are providing this kind of solution, open middleware solution around HTML, around Linux, and around HBB TV for the free to air services, both free to air and pay TV services. Looking at the set top box, how important is that likely to remain for both free and pay broadcasters, and how is it likely to evolve? Uh, it's an interesting question. It's really the debate between set top box versus TV sets. The thing is that set top box and TV set are two different type of product. TV sets run from 500 to 2,000 euros typically, where set top box from 50 to 200 euros. So it's a 10 times uh, the cost. And the life cycle are different because you invest so much money, you want you know, this to run for a few years, seven years minimum for a TV set. Set top box are much more easy to adapt and to make evolve to the market uh, by the operators. And therefore, I think it's going to run for a long time on the operator side because they will include the specificity of the security, the user interface that the operator wants, and the new features they want to add over time. And even in the retail market, it will also coexist with the TV sets uh, to be able to provide more features at a lower price than, that, than having a new TV set with a new feature. So I think it will coexist for, for a good time. And what services are free and pay broadcasters looking to deliver using HBB TV, for example? What we have seen is that the interactive TV is really the TV, uh, so that the service has any TV services. The most obvious one is the, the catch-up, uh, being able to see what you want, when you want. Uh, this was interestingly first moving on the PC, on the, on the tablets, but now it's moving back to the TV where it should be. Uh, so those are the obvious services, the catch-up, the video on demand, but we expect to see more new services like interactive advertising that we take advantage of, again, connected TVs uh, in the future. And finally, can you tell me what specific solutions you're highlighting here at Angico? So HDTV is watching this huge market coming up between the move uh, from analog to digital on a worldwide basis. So there is a huge need for receivers everywhere in the world and the move from uh, basic, TV se basic re uh, receiver to connected TV receivers. And therefore, we have invested to provide a complete end-to-end -end solution for the connected TV and for digital TV from the head-end side to be able to broadcast any services to the receiver by providing middleware, open middleware, both for basic, basic, PVR, basic sorry, uh, receivers and more advanced connected receivers using, again, standard solution, Linux, HTML, and HBB TV uh, for these markets. Thanks very much. Thank you, Stuart.